The margins of Arakun Yoluaro Timiakere Dolu as the executive governor of Undo State was one that an average man on the street was optimistic about as a development that will bring smiles to the faces of the people. In staying true to his several promises, Akiti began the implementation of lots of laudable projects across the state. In fact, his high-flying achievements in infrastructure have been greeted with accolades, not just from the people of the state, but politicians from the opposition camp. The cassava revolution is yet another plus in the agri sector. Everyone is excited about the great things happening at the Undo Lingi Industrial Hub, which will, in no distant time, industrialize the state, create employment opportunities, and change the narrative of a sunshine state being just a civil service state. Think anew and act anew is not just a slogan, but a deliberate and coordinated approach to governance through creative methods. There are so many things begging for government's attention in Ondo State, and as much as the governor would have loved to answer everyone, the challenge of the available limited financial resources is clear for all to see. It now becomes important to think of other ways of improving the financial base of the state without any form of hardship on the people. Looking inwards, Ondo State is the hotbed of cannabis cultivation in Nigeria. The expertise to grow and nurture it is right here in Ondo State. In fact, with an estimated $145 billion in 2025, it will amount to self short changing if the state does not tap into the legal marijuana market. It. Naturally, there have been some concerns. Yes, they are genuine concerns, especially at a time the society is backing the menace of drug abuse. However, the numerous benefits of legalizing the cultivation of cannabis in Undo State outweighs the negatives. Come to think of it, events in the last few decades in the developed countries of the world had even shattered the age-long misconceived opinions and narratives about cannabis and further established the fact that cannabis can be profitable and beneficial to humanity as it is one of the most crucial natural medicines in human history. As a matter of fact, the plant had been found to have the potentials of providing 71 medical remedies for the cure of a wide ranging number of diseases. That's not all. Thousands of potential products which can be produced from cannabis include cosmetics, soaps, beauty materials, beer, shampoos, etc. Several countries of the world like the United States, Latvia, Czech Republic, New Zealand, Canada, Mexico, Denmark, etc. have legalized this plant for medical and recreational purposes, thereby opening enormous floodgates of revenues for them. This and other factors therefore explain why Governor Rotimi Akredelu is determined to make Undo State tap into the estimated $145 billion medical cannabis market since the state is the fertile breeding ground for its cultivation. In fact, Arakuni Rotimi Akredelu started eating the ground running through his recent visits to Thailand alongside the chairman of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, Colonel Mohammed Mustafa Abdullah retired, to learn more about cannabis extract development. It is important to say that whether Undo State Government harnesses the benefits or not, Indian hemp farms already abound in our forest reserves. Therefore, the present efforts of the Undo State Government will only disemphasize local consumption and smoking and as well concentrate on industrial usage. This is therefore the time for the good people of Undo State to support the governor in his quest to think out of the box, bringing to bear creative ideas that can help ignite the expected turnaround and the economic fortunes of the Sunshine State. God bless Akiti. God bless the people of Undo State. Undo State, think anew. Act anew. This message is powered by the Banjiala Beridashi Foundation.